Hello students, we'll, uh, today we will learn about the introduction to operating systems. Operating system, so what exactly the operating system is? It, it is the environment in your computer system that manages all the application programs. An operating system is a software that acts as an interface between the computer hardware components and the user. So, it is a middleware in between the hardware and the user. Every computer system must have at least one operating system to run other programs. There are some applications like the browser, MS Office, Notepad, games, etc. need some environment to run and perform its tasks. So, that environment is nothing but the operating system. Next, we will explore the functions of an operating system. So, it offers a user interface through a graphical user interface with the help of which the user can interact with the computer system. Next, it launches and manages the application execution, how the application programs can be run, they can be executed after performing what kind of actions so that will be also manage, managed by the operating system. And it identifies and exposes system hardware resources to those applications. So, that just connects these hardware devices to the applications. So, whatever the input will be provided through this application programs that will be impact to the hardware resources. The operating system helps us to communicate with the computer without knowing how to speak the computer's language because the computer does not understand the human language. So, it is not possible for the user to use any computer or mobile device without having an operating system. So, in this figure we can see this operating system is the middleware in between the hardware and the end user. In the hardware there can be a CPU, memory devices. Okay. And uh, the operating system will have many types like the Windows, Apple OS, then Linux or Unix. And there is an end user who is going to interact with that computer system via the operating system. Next, we will explore the very important part of the operating system that is a kernel. So, what the kernel is? The kernel is the central component of a computer operating system. The only job performed by the kernel is to manage the communication between the software and the hardware. So, it acts as the connector in between this software and the hardware devices of the computer system. It makes the communication between the hardware and the software possible. There are several types of operating system like the batch operating system, multitasking or the time sharing operating system, multi processing operating system, real time operating system, distributed network and mobile operating system. We will just see uh, the uh, basic things about this each and every type of operating system. So, first we will see uh, the batch operating system. Some computer processes are very lengthy and time consuming. So, these batch operating system are convenient to use for these kind of computer processes. To speed the same process, a job with a similar type of needs are batched together and run as a group. That means, the main task is divided into a batches okay? and then after completing those tasks that will be clubbed together as a group. So, the user of a batch operating system never directly interacts with the computer. Next type is the multitasking or time sharing operating system. Time sharing operating system enables user located at a different terminal to use a single computer system at the same time. That means, multiple users can use the same operating system or the same uh, terminal which are on the different terminals that they can use the same operating system. So, the processor time that is the CPU time which is shared among these multiple users is termed as the time sharing. So, that is why it is named as a time sharing operating systems. Next type is the real time operating system in which the response must be in a real time as quick as possible. So, a real time operating systems time interval to process and respond to inputs is very small. Examples of these real time operating systems are military software system, space software system, 
these are the real time operating systems examples next type of operating system is a distributed operating system so these distributed systems use many processors located in a different machines to provide very fast computation to its users network operating system so network operating system runs on a server it provides the capability to serve or manage the data users groups security application and other networking functions that will be handled by this network operating system then next is the mobile operating system so these mobile operating systems are those os or operating systems which is spe especially that are designed to power smartphones tablets and wearable devices that can be on mobile locations then next in this figure we can see the functions of operating system so operating system is useful or uh, which is which performs the several tasks like it manages the memory it manages the processor and file management device management input output management secondary storage management then security aspects command interpretations whatever the commands are provided or the instructions given by the users that will be also handled by the operating system then networking communication management as well as job accounting what kind of task can be performed by which process so that will be again assigned by the operating system next we'll see some types of operating system the first one we'll explore about the windows operating system so windows is a graphical operating system which is developed by microsoft it allows users to view and store files run the software play games watch videos and provide a way to connect to the internet it was released for both home computing and the professional functions of windows on 10th of november 1983 later it was released on many versions of windows as well as the current version is windows 10 next is unix operating system so the unix operating system was born in late 1960s at and t bell labs released an operating system called unix which is written in a c language which allows quicker modifications acceptance and portability as per the requirements of the user there are some features of the unix are given like it supports the multitasking that means at at the same time multiple tasks can be performed then programs consist of one or more processors and each process have one or more threads threads are nothing but small parts of a single process that process can be divided into multiple threads it can easily coexist along with other operating system that mean unix can be used with another operating system then co uh, comparing these features of this linux and unix linux is another operating system if we compare these two operating system linux can run the multiple user program at the same time linux operating system so linux is an operating system which is built by linus torvald at the university of helsinki in 1991 the name linux comes from the linux kernel so it is a software on a computer which enables applications and the users to access the devices on a computer to perform some specific functions so there are some features of this linux operating system are given such as when we compare this unix uh, unix with the linux unix is a multi user multitasking operating system it can be used as the master control program in a workstation as well as at the servers hundreds of commercial applications are available that are using this linux operating system nowadays uh, this linux was rapidly adopted and become the uh, standard operating system that can be used in many uh, fields next we will see what exactly the servers are Okay. so a server is a software or the hardware device that accepts and respond to request made over a network so this device that makes the request and receives a response from the server it is called as the client so the communication is happen in between this 
client and this server client sends the request to the server and server responds to the client based on what kind of request is provided by that client on the internet this term server commonly refers to the computer system that receives a request for a web files and send those files to the client okay whenever we uh, just uh, use the any any browser so that time if we uh, request for any particular information so that request will be sent to the server first then that that server just process our request that, that receives our request and then it provides the output to the user uh, that is the client of that particular server thank you